Hello, Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Faith. Gary loves you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're dealing with this uh, uh, god, how do we uh, what's going on? The cursor is stuck in the middle of the screen. Oh. We need to do something oh. about that. And the only way to do something is to alt tab out, which I guess we can't do with this Joker running around. There we go. Alright, should be able to get back in. Why now. did you. Uh... Oh, this might have been a mistake. Oh, shit! What? Why? Well, fortunately, he's an idiot. Yeah, that's right. You just keep bouncing up. So ball. you had some, you had some, you noticed some things last time. You said yes. I, I have a bunch of things that I noticed. Um. So first of all, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. Specifically, in the uh, the poem about the uh, the four items that we had to do to open the trap door in the daycare, um, it talked about huh. Mother Moon and Daughter Chalice. And it said that those together with the spirit bird are the unholy trinity. So the uh, spirit bird. What the hell? He, he did this before. Sometimes he does this. Um. It made me think about the Holy Spirit, especially since we had that argument about what kind of bird that was the other night, and I insisted it was a dove, which you denied, but I was just I didn't it. deny that, I just said it didn't quite look like a dove. Yeah, because it's an evil dove. Um, and so I think that's, instead of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, which is frequently depicted as a bird, you have the mother and the daughter because, of course, like, being female makes it evil. Um, and the thing with the moon and the chalice, I... If you look back at that video, I was like, oh, he's really leaning hard into, like, paganism and satanic thing here. Because there is an actual ritual in neo-paganism called drawing down the moon where you fill a chalice with the light of the moon and then the person holding the chalice Possessed by the spirit of the devil, and you didn't intend to do that. No. Well, see, this is because since we know that Gary is actually our gay lover, he's breaking up with us. Uh huh. Oh, God. Um, and then the fourth item in the thing is the star, and it says a fallen star will show the way, so I thought that this was going to, this was supposed to be like the star of Bethlehem that like, shows its way to the incarnation, and so... The, the, uh, this fallen star shows its way to the incarnation of the Unholy Trinity. Uh-huh. Um, the other thing, um, was my thought that, uh, so, the vessel through which the Unholy Trinity comes into being is supposed to be like, um, the demonic equivalent of the Virgin Mary or something like that. 
and oh. especially given the like proliferation of like of names that are derived from Mary, like Miriam. Or actually it's the other way around Miriam was the original Jewish version of Mary, but um oh, no 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 So I'm wondering like <sighs> if the vessel has to be a virgin or something. Uh, which would make sense with Miriam Bell because she was a nun. Uh, but that makes me wonder when Gary is like, oh yeah, Amy was perfect and then you screwed it up. Um, if that is related to John screwing up Amy being the vessel. Fixed in the wrong direction. Yes, I saw that. Oh. oh god. So, I don't know. As far as theories go, that's like... About all that I have here. Oh, also the fact that I, it uh, in the in the drug induced thing of me, um, John is not wearing his priest collar, uh, which I'm not sure what that means. That was close. Behind that thing? Behind here, no. say he doesn't move up and down though he seems to move mostly left to right but at an angle so I'm using that to somehow pre somewhat predict it but yes oh, what the fuck is that thing is that uh, Malthus second fucking phase are you kidding me please tell me this mid well we it did Save this time, there was no saving. Mortis. Master of Mortis, okay. I'd rather not have that. <laughs> okay, we might. This is kind of fucked up. We might have to do some of this off screen. I'm gonna look up how to beat this section. No, oh, then you might see what happens at the end. No, I'll be very careful. Ugh. It's not even his final. Yeah, I know. Oh, hey, that's... I 
you said he couldn't move up and down. He's no, when he charges in the uh, back and forth. Okay. If he couldn't move up and down, this this fight would be trivial. Well, no, because he could do it at angle. Well, at least that was much faster this time. <sighs> what is this? The, like, anti-father Garcia? Can you crucifix it? Or do we have to just avoid it? Dude, I appreciate you wanting to give a challenging final fight because this is kind of epic, but like maybe you kind of overdid it. Look out! Oh, couldn't he run into the other guy? Well, he did. He just didn't do anything. Wait, yeah, that's what I mean. Oh shit! You can you can crucifix him, so it's not just. I think we should, like, pause the video. I don't want to play this anymore. Okay, well, we should turn off the video. No! Then... Don't just turn off the video, because I say it! Come on! What, what do you mean? I mean, I don't think the viewers should have to watch this fight so many times. We'll just be quiet and I can cut out some. <sighs> okay, so next fight I'm just gonna focus on I guess Malthus. Why do you think that's Malthus? Isn't that what you said? Yeah, I I mean, yes, I'm guessing that's Malthus, but I don't It's like super goose mouth. Like into Gary? No, a blocker appeared right as it. <laughs> Why the hell didn't this game learn the, the lesson that past pre the previous games learned with having the <laughs> having the mid boss checkpoint those yeah. were very nice you know i take back all the nice stuff i said about this game earlier when i was praising it for that <sighs> there's nothing i can do when the block is just a feel like that There should be a thing where if there's already a pentagram about to block me, another one doesn't appear. I'm trying to entertain my 
myself by figuring out how we could, like, have this be fatal. Yeah, no. This is way too kicky. Have all the sexualized cannibalism. That's like the only like fetish. And he has what? Extreme fetish. I don't remember any sexualized cannibals as when we watched that video. That video? No, I don't mean in the adventure. Uh, I mean it's just a thing that's interspersed throughout the. Uh, Throughout the game. The fatal of this. <laughs> the fatal. Like, there's a thing at the beginning where he's talking about. Um, oh, when you're playing a role playing game, you have the freedom to do whatever you want. And that, like, you know, if you find a woman chained up at the top of the tower. Your first instinct might be to rescue her. The worst part are the fucking fires, which means I have to navigate those as well. Yeah, but we're gonna need a later. Probably. Um, you know, when the fucking scarecrow shows up, I'll know exactly what to do. We already tried that. No, we have to defeat these fuckers first, I assume. Um, so he's like, oh yeah, you, you could save her, or you could try to, like, leverage a reward out of her. Or you could break her. Or you could eat her. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, and I just said rape, so this video is gonna get demonetized. Fuck you, YouTube. I mean, we don't try to monetize it anyway. No, and at this point I never will. Well, actually I probably never would have anyway, because watching monetized videos is just... But yeah, that's like the only fetish that shows up. Is it specifically sexualized, or are you just saying it's sexualized because it's in Fatal? I'm saying it's sexualized because it's usually women that are getting cannibals. And that, that it's frequently spoken of in tandem, like, with other sexual things, like in that case. Hello, presumably Malthus. Bye.